everyone, today's date is the 29th of June 2020, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, it's now been seven months uh, since I started this journey and um, it's been a hell of a seven months um, as my body has miraculously transformed uh, beyond all my expectations. Uh, the, pelvic, the pelvic floor um, is basically reacting. Uh, to tension in other muscles. I'm almost certain of that now. Um, DCT has shown me that. And um, just um, just recapping for those that have not seen this video before, I was diagnosed with pedantral neuralgia and pelvic floor uh, dysfunction. Pedantral neuralgia being uh, inflammation of the pedantral nerve. Some say it becomes entrapped. Uh, some say it becomes damaged. I don't believe that now. Um, I've actually questioned a lot about the human body doing DCT and um, in particular I've looked into a bit of the work of biotensegrity uh, which um, you can look up the work of Professor John Sharkey and um, Dr Stephen Levin and they talk about biotensegrity in terms of the body uh, being um, constantly in a state of tension um, and the actual musculoskeletal system uh, being not fixed and rigid but basically floating in um, a, a body which has equal distribution of tension in term in, in, in able to um, allow that body to do what it does and to, to function and to move and I've, what I've discovered is doing DCT is I was getting very tired before I did t uh, DCT and now I can move effortlessly in my body and the reason that is, is that the muscles are no longer hypertonic and dysfunctional. So th there's more energy given to the body because the body wants to do the least work possible to be able to propel itself. And if we look at the theory of biotensegrity, and if I just demonstrate the pelvic floor for all you people out there who may have been diagnosed with a pelvic floor dysfunction or pedantral neuralgia uh, like myself, if, if we actually imagine that is the pelvic floor and we actually then introduce tension into the body be it sports lifestyle so we're introducing pretty much a lot of concentric mo uh, movement of, of, um, of those muscles so fit the muscles are no longer working as they should do over time they're becoming more restricted and hypertonic so it could be the hamstrings it could be the glutes it could be the thighs it could be the abdomen it could be the psoas and over time, if we imagine, for instance, the hamstring, if I start to pull, so imagine that hamstring is tightening and tightening, it could mean the arms doing like cycling and sitting down, or it could be the hips. As you can see, my fingers start to rise and the actual pelvic floor changes shape. And because it changes shape, it's, it's no longer doing the job it, it needs to do to be able to go to the toilet, um, etc. So, um, I mean, I was bleeding horrifically, and it was literally a bloodbath. Whereas now I can go to the toilet and it feels more relaxed, and I'm not bleeding anymore. And I've been told to live with this, and I've tried the breathing exercises, the meditation, the passive stretching. You can look at the whole body here, you know, you look at the theory of biotensegrity, it's a wonderful organism that has to work in sync. The muscles have to be uh, balanced, um, not be hypertonic, you know, really be able to be functional to propel that body. And, you know, if you look at the, you know, the theory of ageing, you know, you don't see animals when they get old. I mean, my instance, my cat. My cat is 14, 13, 14 years of age, which, which is considered old for a cat, yet it can still jump up uh, onto a wall. And you look at uh, tribes, you look at primitive tribes in, in the Amazon, uh, etc. And, you know, even when they get, when they're elderly, they can still squat, you know. And I can squat now and with very little tension. I've not been able to do that for many years and it was like I was getting old in my body. And that's not the case at all, people. I think the whole, the whole idea, it's a myth, the whole idea of getting old. And the, and the whole fitness industry as well, you know, the cycling, the lifting the weights and all these different things. You know, you don't see primitive tribes doing, doing this. They've got amazing strength and a movement in their body and balance and you know human beings are actually apes like chimpanzees, gorillas, orangutans, we come under the ape family and we do have 
if we want to, if we can release all these muscles and all functional, really strong strength. I feel like I've got loads of strength now in my body. You know, I can jump up and there's no pain, there's no tension. I can walk and I can move my hips effortlessly. I couldn't even walk down the street seven months ago. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. And to think they're getting, you know, doing breathing exercises for this. And the amount of people out there that might have sciatica, back pain, you name it, who, who then, they go down a slippery slope. And with, with me, it was like layer after layer after layer after layer after layer. And you get worse and worse. And I developed, you know, as, as I mentioned previously, eventually an ingual hernia, pain in down both legs to the foot. I couldn't even dorsiflex my feet anymore. I'd literally just seized up with my body. And it's so unnatural, and you'll never see that with animals in the wild that hunt all day and constantly moving their body. And I want to pre well show you guys something now. I'm going to show you a video of what I was like. Um, this was in July last year, and my wife was saying to me last night, um, "Just remember what you were like this time last year. We we'd gone to uh, a theme park, and you know I, I could hardly walk and." I was going to have to use a wheelchair to, um, to sit in because of the amount of pain I was in. And, I, and, and as she said, said to me, I was in a very, very dark place and I couldn't see a way out. And then I discovered DCT and it's changed my life. It, it showed me how the body should be naturally. So I'm going to show you a video now of what I was like. Um, I think it was July, August time last year. And I want to emphasise now that what you're about to see is real. I have not faked this, this footage in any way. Um, the reason I'm wearing the Ghostbusters costume uh, in, in the video is because um, I'd actually decided to wear that um, for my family to film me this, to see as a, as a demonstration um, to show them me wearing that uniform. And um, yeah, and I know it sounds odd, but I, I make uh, costumes, well, I used to make costumes. And um, it's one of the only videos I've been able to find, so please excuse the uniform I'm wearing. But you'll get an idea of just how restricted I am in my body. And you, you'll probably see the pain that I'm in as I limp. And, 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 and just and just the actual uh, body, my posture, you know, and I'm literally leaning over, whereas now I'm, I'm straight. I'm three centimetres taller, for God's sake, you know. It makes me really angry, really, that there's loads of people like this uh, that are suffering every day. And a lot of these are very, very young people. So um, watch this video and um, I'll do a little commentary while we watch it. Thank you. So um, here we are uh, approximately a year ago. And um, apologies for the um, that I'm wearing this uh, uniform. But it gives you an idea of just how bad my um, posture was as um, I'm really lent over my, my body posture as you can see and I'm having quite a lot of difficulty walking and putting quite a brave face on uh, for the camera. I'm, I'm almost um, limping I guess um, as you can see as I'm walking because of the amount of discomfort that I'm in. Um, uh, this uh, next clip uh, was filmed literally a week or two ago and you can see the difference as um, I'm effortlessly able to um, run up this very steep uh, sand dune well, I'm not quite sure how high it is but it is some height um, the, the body I've now learnt likes to use the least amount of energy to propel itself um, uh, this clip here is just me walking um, doing a five mile walk through a um, sand valley um, obviously again di uh, different levels of terrain and you can just see how quickly I'm able to um, travel um, off into the distance there. Uh, this is a close-up shot again you can see um, again how my posture's changed I'm now more upright because I'm obviously three centimeters taller um, I'm obviously carrying quite a heavy backpack here as well and I'm effortlessly, effortlessly um, moving over that terrain. Thank you.